Hello and a very good morning to all our viewers. You're watching the morning news show on CNN News 18 and I'm Sakshi Singh Litoria. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll be walking you through the top headlines from the nation and across the globe. At the top of this segment, some breaking news now coming in. Well, we are learning that uh, according to the top government sources uh, who have told to CNN News 18 that during Prime Minister's phone conversation with President uh, Putin, it was discussed that Prime Minister Modi will send his national security advisor to Russia to discuss ideas relating to peace after his Ukraine visit. In light of this, NSA Ajit Doval is now going to travel to Russia. Remember, Prime Minister Modi has been at the forefront of peace efforts and peace talks between Russia as well as Ukraine, visiting both Ukraine as well as our time-tested ally Russia over the past couple of months. Bring you more details with regards to that. We have CNN News 18, Siddhant Bishra joining us early this morning on the broadcast. Siddhant, a very good morning to you. Please walk us through what's going to be India's potential in order to mediate between both the nation to, you know, sort of come to a pacified situation, to, you know, have a peaceful situation between both of them. Look, at this time, point in time, point of time, India has done enough groundwork as, as far as war in Europe is concerned. Prime Minister Modi himself visited Europe twice. He spoke to uh, both to Russia and Ukraine. In fact, he also spoke to the other countries of Europe. What do they have to say on the ongoing uh, war? And um, if you remember, after returning from Ukraine, he called up uh, President Putin, briefed him about his visit to Kyiv, and he also spoke to President uh, President Putin and spoke to him about uh, uh, about his visit to Kyiv. Uh, so you know, Prime Minister Modi is serious as far as peace uh, in Europe is concerned. Uh, he is constantly making efforts and offering him uh, uh, to contribute uh, to the peace talks from day one. And, uh, you know, his critiques have often said this, that he went to, uh, uh, went to Ukraine uh, to balance out uh, his visit to Moscow. Uh, he went to Ukraine because he wants to keep uh, the Western bloc happy. But it, it looks like that it is, it, this visit, the visit of Prime Minister to Ukraine was much beyond that. Prime Minister is serious. And in his third term as the Prime Minister... Uh, his focus is peace in Europe. And this is perhaps the reason now we're getting to know right. that when Prime Minister Pudi spoke to President Putin, he told him that he will be sending his NSA uh, uh, for, to find out more uh, options uh, for peace, uh, how to attain peace. And now we're getting to know that NSA Ajit Doval is going to travel to Russia hmm. uh, to speak to Russians to find out more uh, you know, uh, methods and, and formula of uh, peace in days to come. And in fact, it's very interesting to see that uh, leaders of both the nation currently indulged in the conflict have spoken so highly of uh, Prime Minister Modi and his governance as well. So India's potential at this point of time to resolve this particular conflict is going to be very, very extremely crucial. Uh, Siddhan, please stay on with us. We've got a couple of more breaking inputs now coming in with regards to the same story. After Putin, now we are learning that Italian Prime Minister Melanie has also said that India can actually resolve this Russia versus Ukraine conflict. Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni has said that countries like India and China can play a huge role in resolving the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Siddhant continues to stay on with us on the broadcast. Siddhant, also a word of appreciation as well as cognizance coming in from uh, the Italian Prime Minister. She has said that, you know, China and India holds a very crucial position when it comes to resolving this particular conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, you know, India had its own journey when it comes to uh, uh, the Russia-Ukraine war, uh, you know, uh, India is a country which has been, uh, you know, heavily criticized by Western geopolitical experts for buying cheap oil from Russia and keeping its own national interest over over the human lives, etc., etc. But now scenarios have changed. Hmm. Uh, Prime Minister Modi has taken up this task to to perhaps mediate between the two countries to contribute to the peace talks. And this is the reason that now the countries have also started realizing the efforts India is doing and the seriousness 
that india is showing as far as uh, you know b- bringing both the countries uh, p- uh, for the peace talks uh, this is the reason that in fact the uh, day before yesterday president putin appreciated india's efforts and, and also uh, you know had shown a lot of hope uh, uh, in india uh, playing a crucial role as far as peace uh, is concerned and now we have italian prime minister giorgio meloni uh he he also in fact has uh, recognized india's uh, role and the kind of uh, contribution india could make uh, yeah. to bring peace uh, to europe uh, okay. so uh, so you know uh, initially when prime minister modi told president putin in 2022 this is not an era of war or uh, for that matter when prime minister visited moscow or prime minister visited ukraine you know uh, the world was not so confident there were a lot of political commentary uh, made Uh, that why did he hug uh, putin why did he uh, why why did he had a tight handshake with putin but now scenarios have changed and world is showing confidence on india's leadership as far as bringing peace in europe is concerned indeed siddhant and uh, we have already seen what the stance of uh, italy has been like and th- of course the relationship that india shares on the diplomatic levels with italy but uh, since giorgio meloni has also mentioned that china can also play a very crucial role in bringing the things down to peace what exactly is the relationship between china and italy look like well look uh, china is also parallelly uh, trying to uh, 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 trying to uh, uh, you know uh, bring free peace to europe there's no doubt about it in fact there is a chinese peace formula also which has been proposed by china uh, uh, in the past uh, so so and china is also a partner and ally of 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 russia uh, close friends with russia Uh, so china has also been uh, giving efforts uh, to bring peace brazil is also are doing it uh, uh, its part but when it comes to india india has also joined the club where you know the other nations in fact including russia uh, is looking up to india uh, with lot of hope and positivity when it comes to uh, peace and that is perhaps something that prime minister modi has achieved uh, you know sakshi when when prime minister modi went to russia he was criticized that he's going to russia because uh, because he's uh, getting cheap energy for for 140 crore uh, indians when he went to ukraine he was criticized that he has gone to ukraine to balance out his visit to moscow is not serious india is not serious it's just for the formality sake but now nobody can say that india is not serious the world is showing confidence on, on india's leadership as far as peace talks are concerned uh country after country is supporting india for its uh, for the kind of role india is playing or perhaps could play uh, in future and prime minister modi is is very very serious when it comes to uh, peace talks uh, uh, or, or perhaps bringing uh, peace to europe is concerned and this is the reason that now he's sending his nsa again to russia hmm. to discuss uh, formula to discuss more options uh, to uh, to attain uh, peace and prime minister himself would be in usa later this month uh, for the quad and and to engage with the other uh, leaders from the western bloc so you know already prime minister has done enough groundwork he has spoken to austria he has spoken to poland he has spoken to other stakeholders in europe he has spoken to russia ukraine uh, he had a, an extensive talk with uh, with president zelensky for 3 hours at mirinsky palace when he went to uh, kiev he had an extensive talk with president putin uh, both formal and informal when he was in moscow right. so he is uh, he and his team is a well informed team right now they know all the viewpoints they know all the perspectives and this is the reason that that you know india is ready to uh, uh, lead this entire uh, 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 thing and and it, now the world is also showing a lot of confidence on india's uh, leadership Right Sadan thank you so much for putting all of that into perspective uh, in terms of both the developments that we got early this morning right